BCF cricket chat time, and this man is a legend. He's got the mo. He's one of the most charismatic players to ever play Test cricket for Australia. Fine cricketer as well. Two hundred Test wickets, a thousand runs. It's Mervyn Gregory Hughes. Merv, thanks for joining us today. Flynn, pleasure to be here. Cheers. Now, Mervyn, when we talk about your cricket career, I, I want to talk about the MCG. You're a crowd favourite down there. What happened that night? One day cricket. You start doing some exercises. <laughs> when did you know the crowd were doing exactly what you were doing? Well, I'm a bit old, Flynn, so I played before the, the screens were up. So I, I do an exercise. So Carl Rackman, Terry Alden, must be said, started the game really well, playing Pakistan, rain-delayed game. I get the, the sign to uh, warm up from, from Alan Border. So I start warming up. Every time I do an exercise, bit of a rule behind you, I look around, nothing happening. I'm thinking, what's going on? Uh, bowled the first over and... Um, Dean Jones came up and, and said, do you know what's going on down there? I said, you've got no idea. He said, mate, every time you do an exercise, there's about 20,000 people behind you doing the same exercise. <laughs> what are you going to do? I said, I'll go down and have a bit of fun. <laughs> so we just wound it up a bit. It's great crowd support we get. You know, as a Victorian fan, oh. the support we get at the MCG is phenomenal. And what happened to your one-day career? You've got a theory behind it. Yeah, well, the, the pants only went up, yellow pants only went up to 36s. And unfortunately, I was a... You just a into 37. At best, 38. Yeah. Probably closer to 40, to be honest. No, nah, these days you would have played 300 oh. one-day games. Hey, Merv, what about um, back to Victorian debut? We've got some footage of a charging in fast bowler with no mo. What, what, what inspired it? Um, I just went on a trip around Australia in 1985 with, with my mate Snapper from Werribee. And uh, got, to, got to be honest with you, Flam, shaving wasn't a high priority. Um, money was a little bit tight, so shaving cream and razors, uh, not on the go. Gone for probably five and a half months. Um, got back and just had this full beard and hair everywhere. And I uh, went and saw a hairdresser, uh, got it cut down. For some reason, she cut around the moustache and I thought, oh, this would be a good wind-up for, for a couple of weeks. And here it is, 40 years later. Oh, it's sensational. <laughs> um, and didn't it uh, perform well at test level? Now, we used to room together yes. uh, when I first made the uh, Victorian team. Fair to say we had different lengths, so I bowled sort of fuller out swingers. How do you describe your length? Short. Mm. That, that, that's it? Short. Actually, I think we've got some footage here. <laughs> what about this? Not only short, you were short fuse to the batsman. Batsman are my favourite people, Flame. So... If you're, if you're batting against me, you are the worst person in the world, in my eyes. I don't know if you know it, you got a test hat-trick against the West Indies. Oh, pretty special, wasn't it? Over two innings, over three overs. Three overs. Yeah. So you had a split hat-trick on debut. Mine was in my fifth test match, so I was a, I was a late bloomer, Flem. Okay, and what were your moments? When did you realise you'd got it? So you got out some <laughs> fine players, Ambrose oh, yeah. and Walsh. Ambrose. What about Gordon Greenwich? Um, Gordon Greenwich... First, first ball was the second innings. But it was an interesting one because I'd taken a wicket. Tim May took a wicket in his over. I took a wicket with the first ball of my next That's over. Out. A day and a half later, Steve Ward made 96. Graham Wood had made 126. Um, Jeff Lawson had just been hit. We're going out onto the ground. So we got five overs to bowl um, before stumps that night. And we're all pretty fired up because Jeff Lawson's been oh, yeah. hit. And I said I went a, a bit over the top with the Gordon Greenwich dismissal um, because I knew I had a hat trick. Didn't know I had a hat trick. <laughs> I found out at the end of the next over, so I bowled that over. Tony Dottomay bowled the next over. Steve Waugh came down from, from slip to grab my cap and jumper and just said, oh, I think you got a hat trick. And I'm, no, I don't think so. I needed Richie Richard. No, no, what, listen to this. And I said, I'm not sure. He said, we're pretty sure about it. Yeah. Oh I said, what makes God. you so sure? He said, oh, we just heard on the PA system. You'd feel cheated. <laughs> I know you'd take it, but you want the build-up. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I reckon if I had known it was, I was on a hat-trick, you'd, you'd try something special. And well, I reckon you'd well in hindsight, up. you actually bowled full. Where would you have bowled? Short. Short. Yeah. Um, Test 70 against the West Indies. Yes. You, you found it hard batting in Test cricket when you first got in. I think it took a few innings to get off the mark. Yeah, three. But you made the Windies pay here. Oh. And they're bowling short to you. Yeah, I've only got one shot. Just hoik over, over the square leg. There it goes. Um, but it was an interesting one, that, because um, I got in, and Bob Simpson was a big one on, if you're batting with a batsman, yeah. hang around for as, as long as you can. And um, just prided myself back then on, on batting with batsmen. So to have a 50 partnership with uh, Mark Taylor, with Bernie, with Steve Waugh, with 
with Dino. Um, that's what you did. But when you bat with did the you tail, really, did get you on with it. Did you really have a 50-run partnership with Mark Taylor? He was opening. Yeah. It never I happened. Did. No, I watched him. Did you? Yeah. Oh, really? Fantastic. I didn't know that. Get hey, up. Um, you got a hat trick test 70? Yeah. I've got a hat trick test 70. We we've, should form a club. We've got a club. Oh, we have. Yeah. Uh, Warn is in. Yeah, we shouldn't induct someone else. Oh. Pen Siddle, he's got a hat-trick. Yeah, he didn't get a test six. Did didn't he? No, he didn't, unfortunately. Hey, um, talking about your career, what about um, you enjoyed yourself over in South Africa? <laughs> I had back. a ball in South Africa, 94 What about my last the heckle tour. as you're coming out to bat? <sighs> or back off at lunch or tea? Yeah, it was a rain delay, to be honest. And uh, at that stage, we needed about 230 runs to win um, with about three and a half hours to bat. Oh, I'm batting with Tim May, yeah. we're nine down. I'm thinking we're going for the runs. We can't bat that time. Rain delay, you get off the ground as quick as you can. And this bloke had something to say, and I found it offensive, so I just yeah. went back to have a bit of a chat to him. And just, just spoke him through. Any truth or rumour, it was actually Paul Rifle who didn't get a game <laughs> in that test match. Is that true? No, it's not, but it could have been. I reckon, been. I reckon Pistol could have paid, paid some money to get that done. Um, enjoyed the chat. Mate. And everyone's a winner here. Ooh. BCF, I know you're a big camping man. Oh, oh, can you, can you, we've got a fishing, gift. fishing, mate. Oh, you, you'll use this in the fishing? Oh, straight in. I will get some gangster lures, some yeah. ballista lures, some reedy lures, some orgy lures. 500. Well, look at this. Ooh. How good's that? Oh. Mate, thanks a lot for the chat. Big man. Oh, um, very happy. What about Glenn McGrath? He got a hat trick. Did he get a test 70? No, he didn't. There's oh. only three of us in the club. Mm. Thanks for the chat, Merv. Thanks, mate.